Hey, I'm back, y'all. This is Dr. Tasha Rogers. This is, if this is your first time seeing me or meeting me, hey, girl, hey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, before we get into all this, I need y'all to pause this video, okay? Go and like it because y'all be forgetting to like it, and I don't like that. I don't like that for us. If you're not subscribed, subscribe because the girl drops heat all the time. And turn on your notifications because sometimes I might just randomly drop a short or a video, and I don't want you to miss anything, okay? So, if you are here, because you regularly come on Mondays and you want to see what's up <laughs> hey girl hey but what I did was today was it today yes today I posted an actual me pulling putting the bioidentical I use a Vexapel but me putting the bioidentical hormone pellets in a patient um and I and I recorded it with my little meta glasses these are not the meta glasses these are my be iconic glasses but I recorded them with the meta glasses um, so you could get a good view of what I was doing and I uploaded it and so many people had questions as to what they are, what I'm doing, blah, 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 da, da, da. why is this person getting it in, da, 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 da. And as many times as I talk about it, you guys know how the algorithm is. Um, different people see different things. Not everybody sees the same thing. So for some people, it was their first time seeing it, hearing it, understanding it, the whole nine yards. So I was going to break it down. I just like to put videos in one place. So y'all can see them. So I was going to break it all down for you, okay? Ebonically speaking. So um, I do bioidentical hormone replacement. And what that is, and the company that I use is Avexapel. Um, and what that is, is it is hormone replacement that is specific to your needs. It is like a prescription. It is for you. Your formula is going to be different from somebody else's formula. And the reason that I love it is because it is an all natural replacement. And we will talk about what that actually means. So when we talk bioidentical hormone replacement, essentially, um, it is for two sets of people. Okay, one set is any of my women going through any of the pauses, perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause. If you are experiencing a pause, come on over here, girl, because we got something for you. The next group is for my women who have my or males. This is male or female um, or my um, women who have migraines for whatever reason. The um, bioidentical hormones work wonders for the migraines, okay? Um, and then we got men who are going through andropause. I told you my pause is andropause, a.k.a. male menopause, a.k.a. low T. Um, and it is for them too. And um, let me just talk about some of the symptoms. So when you are going through any of the pauses, and it doesn't whether it's perimenopause, menopause, or postmenopause, the symptoms are all the same. I call it menopausal syndrome. But the symptoms are all the same. And you can go back to one of my previous videos because these are gold mines. Like, y'all better go back and be looking at this stuff. But you can go back to one of the previous videos and I kind of explained the difference in perimenopause, peri perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause. Um, I explained the difference. But for all intents and purposes, menopausal syndrome, we're going to have the same symptoms. And that's going to be fatigue. That's going to be um, poor sleep quality, difficulty falling asleep, difficulty staying asleep. Um, fatigue, as I said, um, brain fog, like what did I come in here for? What was I doing? What was I talking about? That type of thing. Um, just, um, just having a sense of, um, like cup half empty, very pessimistic. Um, just not, you know, very positive, not really in a graceful, giving people grace kind of space. Um, also just having a sense of anxiety and sometimes depression associated with that as well. Um, having a low libido, like a very low sex drive, not wanting to have sex, not wanting to be touched. Um, but you know, people do what they have to do based on the situation that they're in, but, um, then it becomes difficult to get aroused and, um, you don't get as wet as you used to. So when we do bioidentical hormone replacement, oh, lest we talk about the weight gain. Girl, did I not talk about the weight gain in that midsection? Honey, the carbs find you, and that's where they find you. Even if you're going to the gym, even if you are um, eating well, we call it mental belly. Well, somebody on TikTok been called it mental belly, honey, but we just call it weight gain associated with menopause. But you want to call it mental belly, do that, because it ain't just your belly. Sometimes we big backed it, too. We gets big backed it. But anyway, um, lest I digress. So, um, these are a lot of the symptoms that are associated with, um, the pause. I call it the pause, any of the pauses. Um, and it could be hair thinning. 
um, oily skin, um, hair loss. It can be a bunch of different things. Sometimes even hair growth, you start to get those little parts, those little sparse little hairs down near. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm very happy because anything when it comes to hormone replacement, somebody said, well, what about my patch and what about my pills? Um, those things are synthetic. Um, and the reason for that is anything natural that occurs in nature, you cannot patent. If you can't patent, you can't own it. You can't own it. You can't get rich off of it. You dig? So Big Pharma's like, oh, no, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tweak this a little bit and we're going to patent it and then we'll own it. And that's cute. But the tweak is when it becomes synthetic. And when we have things that are synthetic that we put into our body, those are going to go, there's going to be more cancer causing than cancer preventatives. Does that make sense? Good. So the logic with the all natural bioidentical hormone replacement is they're like, yeah, we can't own it because the estrogen, if you have to have estrogen, everybody doesn't have to have estrogen. If you have to have estrogen, then it is the same estrogen that's made in your body. So it's made in your body. Like it's the same thing. It's not a different off brand ethanol, ethnol. No, it's estradiol, the estrogen that your body makes, but not everybody gets that. My postmenopausal women get that. Women who have not had a period in a little bit more than a year, two years, three years, maybe even sometimes 10 years. Um, but my perimenopausal women are generally not going to get that. Right. So, um, testosterone is another one that we've replaced, which synthetic um, generally does not replace your testosterone. And interestingly enough, that is what we mostly replace. Women get between, anywhere between 150 to 175 milligrams of testosterone based on whatever your body tells us you need. Um, and then progesterone. And usually um, the progesterone helps with brain fog. It helps with um, getting better sleep. Um, and when you get the bioidentical hormone replacement, not only does it help with all of your symptoms, like it alleviates all of your symptoms. Everybody's different. My pellets usually kick in like three days, but that's my business. Somebody's might not kick in for a week, a week and a half, but usually it's around that time, anywhere between like zero and two weeks. It usually kicks in and patients do great. Um, and it gets rid of all of those symptoms. And people say, what are the side effects? Well, we're replacing what you already make in your body. It's already there. Um, so generally we haven't really seen any or many side effects. There is some profiles of what can occur. Um, and we let people know that generally with the Avexa pill, which is the one that I use, the pellets are not associated with weight gain. I did use a different brand, which I'm not going to say, but I did use a different brand previous to, I think I've been on Avexa pill probably for like two or three years now. Um, and that brand made me gain weight. Like, let me tell you something. If the wind blows to the left, I'm going to gain weight, okay? Um, but with these particular, those pellets, baby, I think I want to say in like four months, I had gained like 35 pounds. And I didn't notice it because I was wearing scrubs. And one of my colleagues, shout out to Dave Montgomery, was like, oh, girl, <laughs> is that scale scaling? Okay, we, we, need, we got we to gotta fix this. Um, and I didn't realize it. And then I really started getting aggressive with my weight, you know, management. But anywho, enough about me. Um... So I love these pellets because they do not, um, they do not, if anything, you're going to lose weight. You're either going to maintain your weight or it's going to, what it really does is it helps your body, um, recognize the efforts that you're trying to take. Because now it's like, you can be at that gym, baby. You could be eating bird food. You could be having salmon every day, skinning the salmon, you know, not girl. And this body's going to be like, so. Or you might gain a pound, <laughs> but when you do the bioidenticals, at least the Avexapel, um, your body starts recognizing the efforts that you're taking. And just like, you know, when you were younger, when your hormones were actually optimized, when you had the highest level of hormones that you were going to have, it was easy to lose weight. You could do two or three things for a week in the gym and you back. Well, it's not that anymore. But when we do the hormone replacement, it helps optimize the hormones and it helps with the weight loss and kind of getting you back. Um, to, you know, whatever, wherever it is you're trying to be. Um, and it just, to me, it's like a Benjamin Buttons kind of thing. Like, um, I love, I love where I am. Um, I love how I feel. I love how I look. Um, I feel like sometimes when I go back to videos that I may have done, you know, four or five, six years ago, the face card never declines, but I always feel, I feel like I look younger. I feel like I look younger. Um, you know, not to put anybody all up in my business, but I feel like the girl is, this is 50, this is 50. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm 
I'm grateful. Um, and I do definitely feel like the pellets have something to do with that as well. So um, it's it's a love, love thing for me. Now, when we talk about pellets, you guys saw how I put them in. I put them in a fat in her butt cheek, check for different landmarks that I was looking for. Um, we do it two to three times a year. It's going to be every four to six months. Um, and it really just depends why you're getting them, whether you have the, peri the, the minute, whether you wanted the pauses, whether you are, you know, a migraine girly or whether you're one of the guys, guys are usually going to be five to six months. Um, and for us it's four to six months. Um, but it's based on your cardiac output. So if you're a real active girly, you are in the gym, you playing pickleball, you doing this, you got your boots on the ground and you practicing, you know, every week and you're just super, super active. You may be closer to every four months. But if you kind of like the rest of us, like, girl, I'm going to get to that gym. What time they close type of thing, um, then you're going to be closer to every six months. And you'll start to know because your symptoms will start to come back. Nobody has to tell you. Your symptoms will start to come back. Like, you'll be like, oh, child, I feel so tired today. Or you'll be like, um, I don't, he, he's supposed to be coming over, but I don't really feel like being bothered. <laughs> That's when it's like, girl, let me come get my pellets. Um, but you'll know. Nobody will have to tell you. Um, and it actually is really good, not even for just, you know, all of the symptoms that you feel, but even for joint health, bone health, heart health, it decreases your risk of cancers. Like it is that girl, it's not only just making you feel good, it is actually helping your health profile. Um, and I love it for that. So, um, somebody asked me where the pellets metal. No, cause what I look like putting pieces of metal in people's booty. Um, so no, I, child i don't <sighs> never mind don't even worry about it but anyway the pellets they look like the based on the dose the based on the size you get some that look like little pits like they're smaller than the like it'd be a little it's like a fourth of a birth control pill some of them but then you have some that are a little bit longer so i usually say it's bigger than a piece of rice but smaller than a tic tac um, and it varies and it's like the consistency of chalk. The reason that I love it, I think with the other brands of pellets, theirs is embedded in soy. And for me, like I told you, the wind blows to the left, oh, the girl's going to pick up a pound or two. Okay. Um, but these, um, they're embedded in wild yam root. Um, and that's great because wild yam root actually is one of the herbs that is known to help with hot flashes. So, um, again, it's like I said, consistency of chalk. It goes in the fat in your butt cheek. That's why somebody said, well, can I get it if I, can I, get it if I have a BBL? Absolutely. Now, if you got butt implants, that might be a little bit different. We're going to have to go in a little different direction, a little different angle, or not do it at all. Um, but if you have a BBL, it's going to get absorbed in the fat in your butt cheek. And... Um, and essentially it just dissolves it dissolves out okay um so like i said it is a little bit of a pellet but it kind of like melts and dissolves and it goes away it doesn't just hang out there okay um so there's that i'm trying to think of all the questions so for the person who wanted to know whether it was metal never mind um and again every four to six months and basically um for our women who um the science is very sound when it comes to women who suffer with migraines um, and it's absolutely amazing for that, um, as well. I have a couple of patients who are on it just for migraines and they do great. Um, and they do report that they feel like their migraines, if they may have had 10 before, they may have, they may have one or none. So they really do not miss it. They, you know, they're all about it. Um, and then for males, males love it. Like, um, I recently did a gentleman, his testosterone was a little more than a hundred, um, we did a replacement for him and males don't get it in their butt cheek. They get it in their lower back, AKA the flank. They get it in their lower back. Um, and I did his and his testosterone went from a little over hundred to right around 1200, um, which is exactly what the sweet spot that we want you to be in. Um, so absolutely amazing for men, um, dealing with menopause and erection problems and, um, energy problems and weight problems. And they get into, um, uh, they get into different funks and depressions as well. So male menopause is real. Um, and, and that's what we use it for. So hope that answered everybody's questions. Um, yes, I do do it. Now, a couple of things. If you're not in my city, um, and you want specifically me to do it, we can work that out. 
um, if you are not in my city and you're too far to come and you can't come, if you get on uh, a Vexipel, it's E V E X I P E L dot com, it'll show you a provider in your area. Now, what I can say is that provider has been trained by Evexapel to put their product in the proper way, to understand their product, to understand how it works. I do not vouch for the ethics of another provider. I do not vouch for the uh, clinical skills of another provider. I'm just telling you that they will be on the Evexapel website and they are certified by Evexapel. Not by Dr. Rogers. I don't endorse, condorse, uh, what is it? Condone or endorse any provider other than myself because I know what I do. I don't know what other folk do, just so y'all know, okay? All right, so I hope this helped. I hope this gives um, a lot of information to those who were seeking the information. Um, and you all have an amazing day. Listen, girlies, 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 if you are not subscribed, you better subscribe and turn your notifications on. Thursday's video is going to be a banger. Y'all know I don't play about vaginitis. Y'all know I don't play about it. Y'all, I don't play about it. I'm like that lady with the white shoes. I'm not playing. You bet not have them on after Labor Day. That's how I feel about that vaginitis. Y'all bet not be in that shower with that liquid soap. Don't do it. Don't do it. But anyway, so another study just, just came out. I mean, this is hot off the press. Somebody put me onto it. Like, I read my stuff. I've been a little bit busy lately, though. I read my stuff. This got past me. It is a new study that is showing that we about to start treating these men for y'all women who are having recurrent vaginitis issues. Boom. So let me get well versed on that. Let me tear this study up. I want to make sure it's a legit study. I mean, I know it's legit, but I want to make sure it ain't no foolishness. They didn't skew it. They didn't do this. They didn't. No, I want to make sure that I got all the bells, whistles, bones, gristle, all of it for the study. And I'm bringing that to y'all on Thursday. You better join. You better jo you. When I say you better join and hit the notifications and baby, y'all better get the girls ready. Y'all better get the boys ready. But y'all better get the girls ready because I'm about to open this thing wide. I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so excited for y'all because it's about to be on and popping. Okay? Okay? I'm just saying. Okay? So Thursday, 7 p.m., the same place. Don't miss it. I promise you, you don't want to. Thanks, y'all.